Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about something that's honestly blowing my mind about databases. You know how everyone's talking about AI applications these days? Well, that's this fascinating problem that nobody talks about. Where do you actually store all of that AI data? Most developers end up juggling between three or four different databases. One for their AI storage, another for their analytics storage, maybe a third one for their regular data. It's, it's like trying to cook in three different kitchens at once. It's kind of messy. So that's where TimescaleDB comes in. Let me first explain what makes TimescaleDB special. They've taken PostgreSQL, which is already the world's most popular open source database, and they've transformed it into something incredibly powerful. But why is this such a big deal? Well, picture this. You're building an AI application that needs to store and search through millions of text embeddings and, and at the same time keep track of user interactions over time, handle regular application data and do all of this really, really fast. Traditionally, you would need separate specialized databases for each of these tasks, but that is where TimescaleDB excels. It builds a unified database that can be used to store all of these different datas in the same database, which is PostgreSQL. So let me share some of the coolest things TimescaleDB has been working on recently. They've built three different extensions for the problems that developers face recently. First, TimescaleDB turns PostgreSQL into a high performance time series database. Think of it. If you're collecting sensor data or monitoring metrics or tracking any kind of time-based information, you need a database that can handle millions of data points per second while allowing fast queries across any time range. So TimescaleDB does exactly that with automatic partitioning and aggregation that makes writing and analyzing time series data incredibly efficient. Second, they have an extension called PG Vector Scale. They've added advanced vector database capabilities into this. This is extremely important for modern AI applications because in order to process AI applications, you will need to store embeddings in a vector database. So instead of using separate vector database for your AI features, you can now store and search your vector embeddings right in PostgreSQL with performance that actually beats specialized vector databases. They have an innovative technology called Streaming Disk ANN that makes vector searches both faster and more cost effective than the traditional approaches. And for the third extension, they have something called as PGAI, which brings AI capabilities directly into the database. Rather than building complex pipelines to move data between your database and AI services, you can now generate embeddings, run similarity searches, and even interact with LLMs using simple SQL queries. This dramatically simplifies how we build AI-powered applications. All of these extensions run in Timescale Cloud, which is their managed service that handles all the complex database operations while giving developers the freedom to focus on building their applications. In the past few months, Timescale has been on fire with improvements. They made queries that work seven times faster than before. What used to take seven seconds before now runs in just one second. That's like upgrading your entire database from economy class to first class. But wait, it gets better. When it comes to updating compressed data, they made it process 500 times faster. Not five times, not 50 times, it's 500 times. Let me put that in perspective. What used to take an hour to run a task now runs in just seven seconds. That's not an improvement, it's a complete transformation. You don't need to do any configuration or rewrite your application, it just works. Let me show you what this means in practice. See this query here? On a traditional setup, you'd be waiting and waiting. But with Timescale's latest improvements, boom, results in milliseconds. Now, this isn't just theoretical stuff. Let me share some examples of what people are really building with this. That's this company called Market Reader. They're using Timescale to help people understand why stocks are moving the way they are. When a stock price changes dramatically, their system can instantly pull together relevant news, data, and analysis to explain why. The cool part, 
This company is just using one database for everything. No juggling multiple systems, no complex synchronization, just one unified database that handles all the data. I'll now go through Timescale's recent innovations. First up is Hypercore. This is a huge innovation. Hypercore is a hybrid row columnar storage engine. This might sound technical, but here's why it matters. Traditional databases store data either by rows or columns, both having their own trade-offs. But Hypercore is smart enough to use both these methods. When you're inserting real-time data, it uses row storage for speed, but when you're analyzing historical data, it automatically switches to column storage for efficiency and better performance. In real-world terms, companies that are using Timescale are seeing seven times faster performance without changing a single line of code. They've also revolutionized how we handle data storage costs. You know how cloud storage bills can get crazy expensive? Timescale has built this brilliant system where your older data is moved to cheaper storage systems like AWS S3 automatically. But here's the killer feature. You can query it just as easily as your recent data. One of their customers actually cut their storage costs in half while at the same time having their queries lightning fast. And for all the developers writing complex SQL queries, they have an built-in AI-powered SQL assistant. This is not just another autocomplete tool. This assistant understands your data schema, your previous queries, and your data patterns. Through this, it can help you optimize queries, spot potential performance issues, and even suggest better ways to structure your database. That's it for this video. Next up, I'll show you how to set this up. Follow me here and on LinkedIn to deep dive into database technology, AI integration, and practical tips for building better applications. And hey, if you found this video interesting, give it a share. Let's help more developers discover these powerful tools. Thanks for watching.